to show you a nice cube game, which can be a fun activity when you're looking for something to play with, while waiting to your dentist or standing in line to your bank clerk, and it can become a cool cube necklace. For the project, we will need conditioned clay in your favorite colors. You can choose black and white or a mix of colors. This design is only one option among many possibilities. We can form the cubes in two different ways. The first way is using a cookie cutter to determine a fixed size of the cube. The second way is using a stack sheets and a small square cutter. I will explain it later. Using the first method, I am cutting two small squares out of a polymer clay sheet, rolled to the thickest setting in the pasta machine. I am joining these squares together to form a ball. Then I am pressing with my fingers to create a cube shape. When using a Millefiori veneer, keep in mind the thickness of the slices. You should keep them thin as possible and equal to maintain a unified size of the cubes. I am repeating this process with all the colors I chose to a final number of 27 cubes. You may want to make one or two extra cubes just to make sure you have enough colors to choose from. When all the cubes are ready, we are placing the holes. Eleven of the cubes should be pierced top to bottom, center to center. I am using a needle tool to do the holes. Sixteen cubes should be pierced in a 45 degrees angle. Here is a demonstration of the 45 degrees angle. When piercing these holes, you can enter from one side, move the needle out, and enter from the other side. This way, you are certain that the holes are placed exactly in the middle of the cube's side walls. Don't forget to make sure that the width of the hole match your rubber cord before curing the beads. In this project I'm using a rather large size of cubes just to let you see more clearly what I'm doing. You can repeat the design with a smaller size of cubes to create fine and delicate cube puzzle necklace. The cube can be pierced when they are still raw using a needle tool, which I found much easier. Or you can cure all the cubes and drill the holes with drill bits. Continue piercing the holes. As I mentioned, 11 are drilled top to bottom and 16 in a 45 degrees angle. Before placing my beads in the oven, I'm using a stylus to create dots and carvings on the beads to make them more interesting. You can embed eyelets or rainstones or anything you can think of. Here is another variation with smaller cubes made in the second method I mentioned. These are cured beads. 
I am using a drill bit to drill the holes after the cube is cured. The cubes have sharper edges as they are made of cut stacked sheets using a small square cookie cutter. It's also an option if you want a different look to the beads, less rounded. I'm drilling in, cleaning all the cured clay, You can use this method or you can pierce the beads when they are still raw. After the beads are cured, we can move on to the stringing. I'm using an elastic cord. I'm dividing the beads to two groups, top to bottom holes and 45 degrees holes. This elastic cord is a little bit thin, but that's all I had. I'm making a knot loop at the beginning of the cord and start stringing. You can use a crimp bead to secure the loop. The order of the beads is very important. We will start by stringing two top to bottom beads. Third bead is angled, fourth is top to bottom, fifth bead is angled, sixth is top to bottom, seventh is angled, and we continue until the last 27th bead according to the diagram shown here. You can pause the video or download the full instruction of stringing from my free tutorials webpage on polypediaonline.com. When all the beads are in place, I'm rechecking and counting them to make sure that I have all 27 and strung in the correct order. I'm pulling the rubber cord to tighten and forming a loop or two loops to secure. You can also use the cream beads to close the loop. Now we are moving to the creation of the complete cube. This is the final cube after it has been assembled. In the video I am showing the assembling of the cube twice. No words required, you can just watch my hands. I would recommend watching it several times understanding the process and you will be able to solve it in no time.